Hey there, this is Sony. In this video, I will be unboxing the little Reaper deck that was created by Vikram Madan. And you can see here on this little thank you note, you can see more by Vikram at www.artbyvikram.com. So here is a deck that I backed off of Kickstarter. There are a few stretch goal rewards that are included as well. And I'll start off with those. Here is a horrible little sticker. Another little sticker here of Little Reaper. And you can probably guess that in the entire deck is of this cute little reaper here. Um, here are some postcards. You can see there's a little quote, pushing up daisies, biting the dust, the dust on the little stone there. Six feet under, the little reaper showing some leg. Sleeping with the fishes, kicking the bucket. Oh, at least when the bucket gets kicked, it spills out liquid that's shaped in a heart. Time to croak. That's adorable. Feeding the worms. Giving up the ghost. <laughs> bought the farm and here is just discussing all the or identifying all the different um, cards that were in the deck also included were it looks like advertisements for some of Vikram's other works and information about that I'm going to go ahead and open this deck here. So I really think scary things made cute are just adorable. Um, kind of takes out the sting a little bit once you have to face things that you might not really want to uh, face in life. So here you can see it's well packaged. Okay. So, as I said, these are ah, these are like playing cards. So um, I'll go through them one by one, but just want to get. Um, an idea, it's just like normal playing cards. I wonder if there's any jokers in here. There are two jokers. Okay, so I'm gonna do a flip through here of this little Reaper deck. There's not a guidebook that comes with this deck and I'm okay with it because that means I really need to kind of use my creativity, my imagination, to figure out how I would interpret what's going on in these cards. So my understanding is that the clubs can correspond with the suit of wands in tarot, the hearts correspond with the cups, the spades correspond with swords, and the um, diamonds correspond with pentacles. So I went through these cards to see if maybe they kind of uh, go along, the image goes along with the corresponding card in tarot. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So um, basically I think the imagery on here, which I think um, is 
adorably cute. That would be the main kind of uh, hint as to what the card would indicate for you. So here, this Ace of Clubs, you can see down below there are skeleton, arms and hands, and a sword reaching up and this kind of uh, army of darkness reference here with the chainsaw indicates that the chainsaw is mightier than the sword. So if we were to look at this no texting while reaping card, if we were to correspond it with the two of wands, you could say that while the little reaper is here in this image with its little bird friend, uh, the little reaper's thoughts are about whoever or whatever is on the other receiving end of this um, cell phone here or reaper text machine. So you could say that it's kind of looking at, you know, being in one place and kind of thinking about potential of another. Will work for souls. You could look at the three of clubs as kind of networking or expanding your potential similar to the Three of Wands. In the Four of Clubs, you see a little reaper here with a dog or a cat. And you could say that it is reminiscent of home, uh, loyalty that you would find in a home, something along those lines. Your little reaper is sticking its hand in the mouth of a lion. So five of wands, I kind of look at as conflict or chaos, but also in kind of growing and learning to communicate different ideas, or thoughts, or goals, or wants, or desires. So I guess this could fall into that. Lion might want to eat Little Reaper, and Little Reaper might just want to pet the lion's tongue. Who knows? For the Six of Clubs, this is, I believe, biting the dust. I'm not sure how that would correspond with the Six of Wands, which is more about kind of uh, like a victory or your community recognizing your achievements type of thing. But I guess if you are the little reaper, it's an achievement to uh, have someone bite the dust and then eat it like it's dessert. So the seven of clubs, we have this cow skull, the little reaper checking it out. Not sure how this would correspond with the seven of wands. Um, but my understanding is that cows, they are seen as providers of all types of resources and every part of the cow is used and that, you know, putting up a skull on the wall can be seen as a, a sign of, of respect and, um, not sure how that fits in with the seven of wands. So that might be a little bit of a stretch. Eight of Clubs, you can see Little Reaper is looking disheveled. Eight of Wands is more kind of like, you know, flying through the air, um, kind of on target and just kind of going for things. Not sure how that corresponds. Nine of Clubs, you can see Little Reaper and a uh, friend there writing on a Vespa and the background there there's some like archways 
I believe this is a reference to Roman holiday. I think I saw something about that. Ten of clubs. Little Reaper is uh, kind of decked out as a pharaoh and holding um, an hourglass. So in terms of this being like the Ten of Wands, perhaps it's um, ongoing labor of, who knows, <laughs> trying to um, do too much for too long. Maybe that's what that's about. The Jack of Clubs, we see Little Reaper flying on its scythe with a little kitty cat. And I guess you could liken it to a page of wands where they're really eager for exploring their environment, finding out about themselves and the world, outer world. Queen of Wands, sorry, Queen of Clubs is the pushing up daisies. So not sure how that corresponds with the Queen of Wands. Um, although Queen of Wands in the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot deck, the queen is with a sunflower, so pushing up sunflowers. And then you have here Little Reaper in this video game kind of environment where, similar to the King of Wands, um, Little Reaper probably has unlimited potential and number of lives. We have Ace of Hearts here, a little reaper flying away with a balloon. Two of Hearts, little reaper and its anglerfish buddy. You can see that, I guess, is like the Two of Cups, you know, choosing a relationship. Also, if you think about the anglerfish, they um, basically have a very interesting mating ritual where the male anglerfish bites into the abdomen of the female anglerfish and basically stays there and shares the same blood supplies and tissue and um, stays there for life. So maybe this is appropriate for Two of Cups. Three of Hearts, you have Little Reaper here um, working the crowd with this snake charming flute. Yeah, you could see that's kind of like uh, Three of Cups, where there's a relationship, joyous festivities, and celebrating that. Four of Hearts. It looks like Little Reaper is in a maybe a graveyard with a skull type moon. Um, not sure if that really would correspond with the Four of Cups, where I kind of see that as a kind of contemplation or um, not really being aware of your surroundings because you're too focused on what's going on inside or how you're feeling. So, I'll have to think about that. Five of Hearts with Little Reaper bouncing around in a tutu. Definitely don't think that is uh, corresponding with the Five of Cups and Tarot. Here's the giving up the ghost. I guess it could correspond this Six of Hearts could correspond with the Six of Cups in Tarot. If you look at uh, the Six of Cups as kind of thinking back on your childhood or nostalgia or um, things from the past that perhaps you shouldn't live there 
kind of like visit once in a while and then give it up. Seven of hearts here. Looks like Little Reaper is holding a tray of hors d'oeuvres that are skulls. So if you think of the Seven of Cups as options and things that you might want to eat or have in your life, then you could say, okay, um, instead of skulls, I'll think of these as mushroom cap hors d'oeuvres. The Eight of Hearts, not sure if this looks like maybe um, a hungover uh, reaper, which I guess could be to correspond with the Eight of Cups if you're walking away from a night of drinking. We got the Nine of Hearts here, Da Vinci's uh, drawing, Anatomical Man anatomical reaper. I guess it could correspond with the nine of cups if you're thinking about uh, individual and what makes up an individual in terms of feelings. And then ten of hearts it looks like little reaper has a woe is me kind of look. This is more reminiscent of the four of cups for me. Jack of Hearts, Little Reaper with a balloon. I guess if the balloon is an offer of love, then I could see how it could correspond with like the Knight of Cups. Queen of Hearts. Uh, I think this is the feeding the worms. Oh, not sure how that would correspond with the Queen of Cups. And then you have the King of Hearts, where it's kind of a Yoda-like Reaper, which to me, um, this would totally make sense as a King of Hup, uh, sorry, King of Cups, where basically you're using your intuition and having, a, you know, a firm grip on your emotions and wanting the best for, your, you know, those around you and so forth. Ace of spades here, where it's kind of like a mechanical bird. Um, you could say that it's like the ace of swords in the sense that birds are associated with, um, you know, flying in air as our swords. And this is one big mother clucking chicken here. So. Two of spades, you have here um, Little Reaper on its mound of skull heads and this little teddy bear. Not sure if this would correspond with the two swords though. Three of spades, the end is near. I guess you could say it corresponds with the three of swords in terms of use of thought or um, mental um, aspects of pain that you're experiencing. Four of spades, little reaper with its uh, anglerfish buddy again. Five of spades, little pharaoh reaper with sphinx some pyramids. I guess if uh, you look at Five of Swords as winning at all costs, then you could see where a pharaoh um, might be winning at all costs. Six of Spades, there's the, what is it, Bought the Farm one doesn't really look like there's a lot of movement going on like the uh, Six of Swords would have. The Seven of Spades, 
You've got Little Reaper holding the skull and a raven there. So it can remind you of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. It can also you know, be a reference to um, Hamlet holding the skull and kind of uh, discussing aspects of the futility of life and so forth. Eight of Spades, it's just Little Reaper and no one else in the card. So I guess you could have it correspond to the Eight of Swords where you're basically, um, your mind is being used to isolate yourself or making you a victim of your um, of yourself, self-victimization. There's really no one else that's there. Nine of spades, you have Little Reaper taking a swim with a sharp down below. It's unclear whether Little Reaper knows that Shark Reaper is down there. And I guess you could liken it to the Nine of Swords where it's basically your um, fear of the unknown or your fear and anxiety that is occupying your mind without real facts involved. Tennis Spades, Little Reaper kind of just jumping around um, and the background color looks really playful. Not sure if that could correspond with the Ten of Swords at all. We got Jack of Spades, Little Reaper with, looks like playing with bubbles. Um, not sure how that could correspond with a page or a knight of swords. Maybe in that bubbles float in the air and, um, you know, playing, the playful aspect might go along with the um, page. Queen of Spades. This is the kicking the bucket one. I guess if you're kicking the bucket with a balanced heart and mind, then it could be similar to the Queen of Swords. King of Spades, you have all these owls um, looking at Little Reaper, and that one is just straight up calling Little Reaper out. So I guess you could say this is kind of like the King of Swords where there's you know firm decision and boundaries owl boundaries being made. Ace of Diamonds with Little Reaper doing the scream. Not sure if this would correspond with an Ace of Pentacles. Two of Diamonds, Little Reaper having tea time with its mummy. Guess you could say it's um, Kind of like the two of pentacles and balancing responsibility and fun if the reaper didn't necessarily want to have tea with its mummy but uh felt the need to got three of diamonds with little reaper and buddy dancing to the music and this could be could reference the three of pentacles here and that little reaper is you know um, creating a dance scene with others kind of create something and there's little reaper and it's kitty cat and the four of uh, diamonds not sure how that would be similar to the four of pentacles unless it has to do with security. We got five of diamonds with Little Reaper being attacked by ducks, I think. Um, so I guess it could be like the Five of Pentacles in the sense that uh, Little Reaper doesn't feel like 
there's any safety. Six of diamonds with Little Reaper. And is that like a bump on its butt? Um, oh, yeah, this is the uh, six feet under, showing off all those legs. And you have a seven of diamonds here with Little Reaper on top of, I don't know, is that a chimpanzee or orangutan skull? Not sure if that would correspond with the seven pentacles. And you have this cat on eight of diamonds. I don't think that would correspond with the eight of pentacles where I don't see any work or skill or craft unless looking like a cat is the skill or uh, craft that Little Reaper's doing. I guess he's doing it well. Nine of diamonds with Little Reaper getting drooled on by this T-Rex. I guess uh, terms of corresponding with the nine of pentacles. Mm, not seeing it yet. Ten of diamonds, Little Reaper is like a insect or a fairy. I guess you could say that it's similar to Ten of Pentacles in terms of, you know, uh, having everything you need or wishes being fulfilled, even though that is more of a Nine of Cups card. And Jack of Diamonds, Little Reaper with its melting ice cream cone. Mm, I guess you could say that it's similar to the Knight of Pentacles in that it's slow moving. And Queen of Diamonds, sleeping with the fishes. And King of Diamonds, you have some kind of Mayan artwork here. And I guess that could look like a big old pentacle. So that's what I have for the close-up of cards. And then I will also go ahead and shuffle the deck so you can get an idea of it. Um, I think they're pretty short. They're not normal size playing cards. So there's not a lot of bend to it. I would probably need to do um, shuffles uh, this way and kind of just kind of fold them in together by the side. So, and then in terms of um, overhand shuffling, it's pretty, it's pretty good. But definitely it is smaller than a normal playing deck of cards. And um, be interested to see what kind of uh, vibes I get off of this when I use it as an oracle. An oracle deck. Well, thank you for being here with me during this review. And take care.